Hello and welcome to this tutorial on creating dunes. My name is Sasha Henrichs. You will learn how to create dunes by using patch grids and you will set up a material that blends two textures by vertex colors and you will set up a simple fork for rendering purpose. So please excuse my awful German accent and uh, I hope you learn something. Okay. First we set up a plane, create a plane here in create tab, keyboard entry 50 meters, 50 square meters already set up. I create it. Press F4 to see the wireframe and then convert it to an editable patch, not poly but patch. Uh, the actual uh, triangle count of a patch grid is not that one you see in the wireframe, but you can scroll down on the right side to the field surface, turn on show interior edges to see the actual triangle count. Increase it by increasing the view steps or decrease it. Okay, we stay with five. Now to work with those patch grids it's better to turn show interior edges off. Now scroll up and use the vertex sub object. Now if we select some of these we see also the green handles. Those are so-called Bezier handles and if you move one of them you move also the one on the other side and you can break this connection by pressing shift and then move one. No. That's how we model out our slopes of our dunes. To create the overall shape of the dunes we push the vertices by turning soft selection on and give it a pretty high fall off. somewhat 10 meters perhaps or more and then we can move the vertices to create those waves So I already modeled the scene and hit it in background and I only show you how to create dunes to get the idea on the example of two or three dunes. Okay. Don't forget to press shift when pulling those handles down. turn off soft selection when it's not needed so like that also here And here. 
Now to create hard edges on top of the dunes we use a modifier called smooth here turn on auto smooth and prevent indirect smoothing now that creates the cool hard edges of the dunes having a look on the dunes picture on from the beginning we see that the dunes have on top those waves, sand wave texture and on the slopes a plain sand texture that has uh, nearly no structure we create this effect by using um, material that blends two textures by vertex colors that means we first paint vertex colors on places where we want the pl plain sand texture to be and for painting vertex colors we use another modifier called vertex paint use it turn on vertex color display shade it to see the ver actual vertex color you paint turn on the button paint and use a brush size of six meters and then paint your vertex colors So that's it. We will now create a material that blends two textures by vertex colors. So in the diffuse slot we use a mix map and in the first color slot we use a bitmap where the plain sand texture is. one time and in the second color slot we use also a bitmap where we find the sand waves textures see it here open okay one up and in the mix amount that's important you have to choose another map the vertex color map that is for the material knows where or how to mix those two maps so in the main shader open the maps rollout I've already uh, also some normal maps for those materials turn on bump intensity 100 choose also a mix map and in the first color slot we now use a normal bump modifier uh, map and in the normal map you will put the bitmap which is the desert sand dunes plane normal in this case okay one up in this map the green channel is flipped so the second one also a normal bump modifier for that the renderer can uh, interpret the normal maps as normal maps sand waves normal see it here see the cool structure open it one up it's flipped okay the intensity of this map has to be uh, a bit lower perhaps 
three. Okay, two up. Now in the ma main shader, call the material desert sand mix. Turn off disable vertex color display. Apply the map. Show it in viewport. And give it a small render. Okay, here you see, uh, never mind the uh, light which is pointing down. Here you see the correct mixing of those textures. Anyhow, as you see in the last rendering, oh, where it is, there, we forgot to set the normal maps, the mix map of the normal maps also to mix those, those two maps by vertex color. So put their uh, vertex color map. Now render again. And see the normal maps working. And we also have to apply a better mapping on our plane. There is already a mapping applied to this plane. It's a planar mapping that is tiled is exactly one time across this uh, piece of desert, which is fine, but we want more tilings over the length and the width of this uh, desert tile. So we call another modifier on top of our stack, which is called UVW crossform or XForm. In the U tile parameter we say 8 times 8 tilings, V tilings also 8 times. Now we have to render to see if we have to rotate the mapping also. But it seems fine. Now the modeling is finished and I will delete this example scene, uh, not scene but uh, mesh, and unhide the rest of the scene that I prepared before. The scene consists of a patch grid and four copies from it that are scaled in the background just for rendering purpose. Now go into the camera with C and to get this fork rendered out we have to set up an environment effect atmosphere effect environment settings use add and add a normal fork use fog background, use a color that is also used by your textures, uh, choose layered and I have uh, a setting in the top of 15 meters and bottom 1.1 a density uh, 43 something, no fall off now render the scene and see it working Now that's it. I hope you learned something. My name is Sasha Henrichs and see you next time. Bye.